Hey everyone, Vanessa here. Thank you for tuning in. Now today's story is Alice in Wonderland, based on the classic fairy tale by Lewis Carroll. Hope you enjoy it. One hot summer's day, Alice and her sister sat under a tree. Alice's sister opened a book. Alice leaned over to take a look. Ooh, boring. No pictures, she said. It's boring. She closed her eyes in the shade of the tree. Alice woke up. She saw a flash of white fur. A rabbit in a jacket was rushing past her. Oh dear, oh dear, he said. I'm late, I'm late. Wait, wait, said Alice. Alice jumped up. A talking rabbit wearing clothes, she said. I'll follow him and see where he goes. The white rabbit darted down a hole in the ground. Alice scampered after him. Down she tumbled. Oh no, how far will I go? Down, down and down she fell. Until she landed at the bottom with a great big bump, hitting the ground with a thumpity thump. Alice could see a tiny door, but to reach it, she had to lie on the floor. It was locked. Alice saw a key on the table. I will use that to open the door. Hmm, it's so small. How can I be small? Then she saw a bottle marked, drink me. If I drink this potion, perhaps it will shrink me. Alice drank the potion. Uh oh, you're too small, said a little caterpillar, sitting at the table. Now she was too small and the key was too high. Now Alice suddenly noticed a cake beside her. That will make me grow, she said, taking a bite. Here I go. But the cake made her too big, far too big. Oh no, now I'm too big. The next minute, the walls and the door were gone. There Alice stood, looking out a beautiful wood. No sign of the white rabbit. All Alice could see in that wood with big beautiful trees all around her was a Cheshire cat grinning high up in a tree. Maybe the white rabbit went to see the March Hare, said the cat, pointing. He lives just over there. There was a tea party going on at the March Hare's house. He had invited his friends, the Mad Hatter and the Dormouse. The Mad Hatter was noisy and full of chatter. But the Dormouse had fallen fast asleep. With no sign of the White Rabbit, Alice decided to stay and have some tea. Try some of these, said the March Hare. The Mad Hatter was all of a flutter because he had found some crumbs in his butter. It was the best butter, said the March Hare. Alice had decided she'd had enough, all of this silly, silly stuff. She came to a garden what a strange sight, she said. The gardeners were painting the white roses red. All at once, the white rabbit appeared. He blew a trumpet and a queen dressed in red marched up and shouted, Off with her head! Off with her head! This is my garden. I am the queen of hearts. You do not belong here. 
voice said, You're just a pack of cards. I'm not scared of you. The pack of cards flew up into the air and were gone. Alice quickly opened her eyes. She looked all around. She was back with her sister, safe and sound. You had a long sleep, her sister cried. And such a strange dream, Alice quietly replied. And she told her sister all about it. It was just a dream, that's all. The end.